Are you jonesing for a weapon with insanely high power? Did you make an encounter weapon but feel you're not quite tapping into its full potential? Well blaze up those weapons with green and yellow sharpness that are sitting there clam baking in your equipment box and get ready to smoke some monsters. Monster Hunter Cross introduces a new skill called Blunt Power that lights up all new possibilities for these types of weapons. Now the game description only says that the worse your sharpness is, the stronger the weapon becomes. But what it really does is at green sharpness your weapon gets a plus 15 attack bonus. At yellow you get plus 25 attack and you get plus 30 attack for orange or red. However blunt really works best with green. Coincidence? I think not. If you factor in the power modifiers for sharpness, you'll find that orange and red are never worth it. Green is definitely best, and when you drop to yellow, you're only taking a very small hit to your attack power. So if you have a nice long green sharpness, you basically never need to worry about sharpening, or your power going down should you burn through it and crash into yellow. Now in Monster Hunter Cross, it's not just a canter weapons. You can take almost every starting weapon in the game and level it up to max, and it'll have very high raw and long green. So how powerful is it? Well, in Monster Hunter Cross, weapons with natural white sit at about a maximum of 180 to 190 power, with a few of them at 200, but it'll be very short white. Now, a canter weapon sit at 250 raw, so with blunt force, you'll see that they have about 275 power, which is the same as a 210 weapon with white, which simply doesn't exist. So numerically, it's almost like a 190 weapon with white and attack up large. Now Blunt Force does require you to use the Mind's Eye Armor skill so that your weapon does not bounce off monsters. But of course that's not a problem for weapons like the Sword and Shield which has the new Mind's Eye Oil, the Switch Axe which has Natural Mind's Eye in Sword Mode, the Hunting Horn which has a song which gives all of its attacks Mind's Eye, and a lot of the aerial styles in which attacks naturally get Mind's Eye as well. Also Blunt Power is easy to get on armor skills with charms and also with decoration so it's far easier than the power skill in this game. Now here is an image that I made where I was comparing weapons with the sharpness modifiers and with blunt power to see how they would affect each other. Now mind you, blunt power at green sharpness is the same as attack of medium, only it only takes 10 points versus 15 that attack of medium takes. As you can see here, the average top raw for all the normal weapons at white sharpness is about 180 to 200, maybe 220 when you factor in meals and power talons and all the other stuff on top of that. However, if you look at the 250 weapons, which is where we're looking with a Cantor, these things go up to 277 with green. That definitely surpasses what you'll get with a 200 white weapon. So you can see blunt power is really strong. Now data can be interpreted in many different ways, so I'm going to go ahead and include a link to this file or image that I created so you guys can take a deeper look at it offline. I hope this video helps explain why there is a lot of new weapons that you can use for the endgame in Monster Hunter Cross thanks to this awesome new skill which really does breathe life into some of the higher level up versions of the beginner weapons and also some of the older weapons like the Akatur ones which have high raw but really crappy sharpness. Anyways if you're not playing Monster Hunter I hope you do soon and I hope we get an announcement soon for the West. And until next time, happy hunting.